Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Andrews, AKA the All-American Driver. You guys can see I'm out here at the firm in the Alfa Romeo 4C. Now, I'm not going to say I'm gonna sell this car if it doesn't do a sub 120, but that is really the goal today. Now running a 119 at the firm is important for multiple reasons. One, a sub 120 is actually a pretty respectable time on this track. And two, you know, I traded a GT350R for my Alfa Romeo 4C and that car did 119s consistently at this track. So I've really been working hard along with the help from GMS to get the car dialed in to where it's at least as fast as my old car. So believe it or not, this is a private track day. This is not open to the public. In fact, the track has been hot for like 15, 20 minutes and no one has even went out yet. So uh, I definitely wanna get on track before it gets too warm because if I want any chance of setting a new personal best in this car, I've gotta do it before temperatures get out of control. Okay, so it's actually been quite a while since I have been on track. However, I'm very excited. We're going straight to track mode. There is not a lot of headroom in this car. I forgot if I, if I look left with my helmet, my head hits the, uh, the top over here. Okay. Just try to have some fun out here and drive fast. It's been a while. Okay, so that didn't take too long for me to end up the opposite direction on track. <sighs> okay, I will say that, that, that the car is feeling really good. The rear end actually does feel a little bit more planted, a little bit more controllable. Don't let my little 360 slide thing uh, uh, fool you. The car, the car does feel really good. Still probably should have maybe put a little bit more heat in the tires. I'm gonna check the, the pressures and I'm gonna go out before it gets too hot.
Okay, so actually some pretty good laps. I was starting to build more and more confidence in the car, getting a little tired. And you can tell like when your concentration kind of lapses a little bit, you're like, ah, well, I'll just go take a little break, right? There's no, there's no point just to like come out randomly and like just lap after lap after lap if you're not really making progress. There's no point to do that. Anyway, so we went 120.79. Uh, there, there definitely is more time in the car, and I'm gonna go out again and try to find it. But finally, uh, Courtney is here with his track GT350R. I think he's on slicks. He probably will be here setting a pretty good lap today. Uh, you guys probably remember him from the You Can't Buy a Fast Lap video. Well, he actually, he has gone faster now. I, I remember his goal in that video was 115s. He didn't get it. He has got it since then, so he's getting faster and faster. But I'm just gonna do my best here. Just half a second i just got to find like a half second and i'll be there
completely out of gas. But I ran a 119 with a fuel cut. But what the fuck do I do now? I'm out of gas. Fuck. 119, baby, with a fuel cut. So that's uh, that's even faster. Um, how do I put my hazards on here? plan that shit you can't plan that at the last possible second i'm mobbing my car i'm i'm getting faster and faster and then my car runs out of gas um <laughs> oh my god i'm sweating here okay so let's see what do i do here Yes. First time uh, testing out the tow hook here. Wants me to have my seatbelt on still. That's real smart. The engine's not even running. You know. This is why you have a tow hook. I feel like when I went out, I had like a half a tank, but I think that the tank might be like not a square, you know, because uh, I don't know. Yeah, I ran out of gas. Someone's got to have some gas here, right? Hopefully I don't have to pay like uh, $10 a gallon or something for it. You guys saw it was right here where I, uh, my fuel cut, I took the corner, like it was cutting out of fuel. We still went a 119. It's insane. 